Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. Today, I am going to, to teach you genetics. Understand the topic fully. Firstly, what is genetics? It is a study of how different characters, they are transferred from parents to their children. Now, what are the characters? I will give you a very common example. You may have seen a child with a brown hair color and maybe his parents, both the parents or either of the parent may have same hair color. So you can say that this character has been transferred from both the parents or from one of the parent to the child. This is known as the heredity. Another very important thing in genetics is variation. To make you understand, I will give you another very common example. You may have seen a child with a rare eye color like blue eyes or sea green eyes and both the parents are lacking this color. This is known as variation. So, genetics is the study of heredity and variation. Gregoire W. Mendel is known as the father of genetics. He has done some exemplary work on pea plant and mainly his work was on hybridization. He formulated some laws of genetics and later on, posthumously, he was given this reward, the father of genetics. Firstly, some things, important things about Mendel. Mendel was born in a farmer's family. He had two sisters, one younger and another elder. At the age of 11 years, for the first time he went to school. On recommendation of a local school teacher who for the first time analyzed his abilities. After completing his graduation, he studied mathematics, physics, and philosophy. Later on, he joined a monastery. He was a monk over there. Mendel was not interested in religion, but he joined the monastery just because it was full with the intellectual people. During this period, he performed the hybridization experiments and postulated some laws. But unfortunately, during that era, there was no one to recognize his work. After 34 years, his work was recognized and he became the father of genetics. Another question that is why Mendel selected pea plant for hybridization. The first character is that pea plant is having alternative characters. For example, if the seeds are round, you can also find wrinkled seeds. So these characters are contrasting. You can see a uh, dove pea plant and also there is tall pea pl plant. It produces a large number of seeds. Another character is that pea plant completes its life cycle in one season. In pea plant, the plants are self-pollinated. Okay, so Artificial pollination or cross-pollination was possible. 
he selected seven characters for carrying the experiments on hybridization the first character is the seed shape seed color flower color pod shape pod color flower position and stem height each character is having a contrasting trait for example in seed shape we have round sheet seeds and wrinkled seeds as well seed color seeds are yellow as well as green flower color flowers of pea they are violet and white pod shape they may be full or constricted pod color it may be green and yellow flower position flower can be present at axils or it may be present terminally stem height the plant can be tall as well as dwarf or small on the basis of results of his hybridization experiment he formulated three laws of genetics first law was the law of dominance second the law of segregation and the third one the law of independent assortment these laws are the basic laws of genetics and they laid a foundation of genetics in my next chapter i will discuss all of them in detail thank you for listening to my this introductory lecture on genetics if you have any question or any query you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can comment over there thanks